Arno, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you very much for the invitation. Of course, so why don't you take me back and tell me why you founded this company? So four years ago, uh, I created a, a mobile application to help individuals to measure their carbon footprints. So I was uh, with my two associates and for us it was very important to create a simple way to measure and to bring the measure for everyone. And so, um, for example, you could synchronize your bank accounts directly to your mobile application. And at the end, we are able to bring the information of CO2, of CO2 emissions. So I can know the impact of my uh, T-shirt, of my uh, meal at McDonald's, for example, or lots of things. And at the end, you are able to control your individual impact. Secondly, we decided to integrate this information directly to bank uh, to the banks, so uh, you can follow all your budgets and you can also know your carbon emissions. Uh, so we did it with 20 uh, banks uh, worldwide, and at the end we can um, add the information and we can uh, e elevate the consciousness. Uh, for uh, like 20 million uh, persons around the world about the, the personal impact. And so it was for us, it was very important to, to let people know how they can uh, improve uh, their, their personal and individual impact. Today we have like 2000 customers uh, worldwide and we would like to become the upspot of the carbon assessment. So tomorrow we would like to support like 100,000 companies and we would like to maximize the total amount of CO2 emissions under management because if we have a large amount of CO2 emissions under management, it's very easy for us to uh, reduce it. And so that's why we have dedicated climate experts uh, who can help companies to find a good trajectory and, uh, and define some action plans to help the company uh, reduce their emissions. So tell me about who some of these companies that use your platform are. What it's very interesting that we are able to help all the companies worldwide. It's not a question of size. It's not a question of industry. We can help everyone. So we have like, we have lots of fashion companies. We have, uh, um, transport companies, we have food companies, we have every, with every, all the companies we, we, we are able to, to support everyone because uh, we track the CO2 emissions, all the activities emit uh, emissions. Mm -hmm. And so at the end, we, you have the photography of your emissions, you have the final results, and with the results you can uh, bring some actions. That's why we have dedicated climate experts per vertical um, and say, okay, we know the reality of your industry. We know everything. For fashion companies, we, we realize life cycle analysis. We uh, would like to change like the transportation for your shoes, for your, uh, uh, for your t-shirt or something like that. And so we, we would like to, to, to be very deep on support and, and let the company uh, activate and, um, and, uh, and take action about our, uh, with our recommendations. Tell me, I want to talk about fundraising and venture capital now. How much have you raised and what has that allowed you to do? So for Greenly, we raised uh, 52 million uh, dollars uh, to uh, help more companies and support more companies worldwide. Um, so we would like to recruit uh, more climate experts to uh, su support all new companies we, we will uh, support. Um, sales team around the world because we would like to open new offices uh, in Europe and maybe somewhere else thereafter. And we would like to become the, climate, the global climate leader uh, and the, the leader in our industry. So for that, we just have to um, invest on the product because the product is the reactor hertz. And so, um, and so today we, 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 we would like to invest on the 
on the navigation of the platform because we would like to create a very good user experience, uh, a very simple path to uh, elevate your level about climate actions. What do you think is the biggest challenge you and your company have faced so far? I think the, the, the biggest challenge for us um, was the last fundraising because today it's very complicated uh, with the economical conjuncture. Mm -hmm. It's very complicated to raise money and we have to become profitable. At the beginning, it was only about growth. Mm -hmm. uh, and so today we have to change our plan and to think about profitability. And so we have to reduce our cost. We have to think about our development, um, the way to, uh, to become global, but we can do it like in France and in Europe. So we have to think about the best system to, uh, to attract more and more uh, companies. What would it take for you to sell your company? And is that your goal? I think it's not our goal today to sell the company. Uh, we just, we are very ambitious. ambitious. Um, we would like to become like Microsoft or something like that, or HubSpot. We would like to uh, attract today, we have 2,000 companies, but we would like 10,000 and 100,000 companies because it's, it's a global fight. And if we would like to increase and, and if we would like to improve our impact, we have to think big. Mm -hmm. And so at the end, I think we will work during maybe three years, five years, 10 years, maybe, I don't know, but we just would like to create uh, something big. And of course, if we have proposition one day, uh, we will think about it. But um, today we have lots of energy to give. Uh, we would like to do our best to, uh, to achieve more things. And so we give our full energy to, to find solutions about the product, about the support, about uh, the sales and so on. And, uh, we would like to continue and, and, and support more companies on it. What advice would you give to young entrepreneurs who want to be where you are at today? The priority is to, to, to think big. I, we saw uh, that we have, we have lots of competitors today. Uh, in France, we have like 15 competitors. So, um, and the difference between our trajectory and the tra trajectory of our competitors is the ambition because we sold the project, we presented the project to investors, we presented the projects for lots of people. And at the end, they chose Greenly because we talk about our ambitious and we say that uh, we would like to, to do more, to achieve more things, to help more companies. And so we never, as I said uh, before, we are never satisfied about the results. And so I think there's a big difference if you are ambitious and you don't have to define a final uh, result, you just have to think about the next step. And um, it's very important to, to go fast uh, because of course you can take your thing and say, okay, I would like to improve it. I would like the best picture for this thing. I would like to have the perfect product uh, to launch a, a new service or something like that. But uh, that is very important is to go fast and say, okay, I have a first version. It's not perfect, but I, I, I would like to test it with customers, with the first customer, with the second one, to take some feedbacks about it and just to improve your product and improve your solution. And I think lots of time we would like something perfect because we are, we search the perfection because your startup is like your baby. You just would like something very great, very beautiful and so on. But uh, you just have to, to test it because, and test it fast because um, if not, you can lose your time on something that will don't interest someone. And so um, that's why, okay, I think it's a good thing. I'm going to test it. I'm going to give it to our customer. And at the end, I take feedbacks. And if it's a cool, I can continue on it. But if it's not, I can change my plan and do something different. Yeah. And so that's why it's very important to, to 
to, to try things, but try, try it uh, fast. I know one more for you. What is the impact you want to have on the world? I think it's an obligation to, to stay and to think big about this topic. It's not possible to just say, okay, we would like to have a footprint um, per, per, for a country. Mm -hmm. So we, we would like to open like thousand offices around the world. We would like to create a, a global nation of, uh, for, for green leaders. Our first step is to remove 1 billion tons of CO2 um, of the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And today we have 40 million uh, under management. Mm -hmm. And it's very important to, 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 to tackle this topic with all the companies around the world. So to continue to attract uh, and to educate, and that's why we create lots of things to elevate the, the consciousness. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we write lots of blog articles, we uh, create lots of data stories to talk about different things, like the impact of the worldwide, uh, of, the, of the World Cup mm -hmm. uh, in Qatar, about uh, the impact of ChatGPT, the impact of uh, of Barbies. So for example, if you go to a website and you would like to buy something, mm -hmm. you have the impact, you have the price, but we would like to add also the CO2 emission about the product or about the mm -hmm. service. And so it's very uh, imp important to do it. And at the end, if we bring the information, people can do the good choice mm -hmm. and say, okay, I would like to reduce my personal impact. And so I have a good way to do it because I have the information. And if I have the information, I can take the good decision. And so that's why we just have to continue our fight and to, uh, to um, bring the, the, the impact and the measure everywhere. Mm -hmm. So on websites, on, on products, on services, on everywhere. So we have to, uh, to, to, to take all the shareholders mm -hmm. and to, uh, uh, to let them know uh, what is the impact, what is the, the, the impact questions, and how we can resolve the problem together. Excellent. Well, I wish you the very best of luck doing that, Arno. Thank you so much for chatting with me Thank today. Thank you very much for the invitation. Of course.